how's it going guys thank you so much for joining me in this video we're going to talk about why the mustang is such an amazing first car now a lot of people would probably disagree and there's a lot of debate on this on whether mustangs are good first cars or not and there's a couple reasons why i think they are amazing first cars um, my first car was not a mustang it was a toyota corolla but my second car was a Mustang and it was an absolute blast to drive. Um, and I'll tell you a couple of reasons why I think um, it is a perfect car to drive as a first car. Number one, why I think these cars are such an incredible value, and I think they are amazing first cars, is because of the fact that they are cheap. Now, of course, if you go out and wanna buy a brand new, fully loaded Mustang, yeah, you're gonna be paying upwards of $50,000, but for the used Mustangs, you can find incredible value in an older used Mustang that would be perfect for a first car. Now, not only are they cheap, but if you get bored or want to upgrade later on, you're like, oh, this car, you know, I'm getting bored of it or I want something else, something different. Um, if you get an older Mustang, especially in the right uh, configuration, if you get a GT with a you know, manual transmission, things like that, they are very sought after. So chances are, if you buy it correctly, you could probably drive it for a couple years as your first car. And whenever you want to upgrade, you could probably sell it and not lose any money or even make money on the car if you buy the right one. The second reason why I think these cars are such amazing first cars is because parts are cheap. They're not European, they're not Italian, they're not German. Um, parts are super cheap. Everything is accessible under the hood. Um, you can wrench on it yourself. If you don't want to wrench on it yourself, kind of like me that I will do very limited mechanical things because number one, I don't trust myself. Number two, I'd rather have someone else do it and just enjoy driving the car. Um, but uh, labor is cheap because these cars are very accessible. They're very easy to get to. Um, and they don't have the uh, Mercedes or BMW, you know, price tag that comes along with, with the, uh, you know, the reputation of driving those cars. Uh, so parts are cheap, maintenance is cheap. Um, amazing for first cars it's a perfect combination now one thing that people are like oh mustangs are so expensive on insurance like they're so expensive my 2001 ford mustang gt i pay 40 dollars a month for insurance on this car now of course that's gonna vary by state by city by zip code by your driving history all this stuff but the point is i'm a young guy this is a Mustang. I pay $40 a month for insurance on this car. So whoever said Mustang insurance is expensive, check their driving record or check what city they live in because chances are it's one of those two that's influencing how much they're paying. So specifically for people that are looking to buy a Mustang as their first stick shift car and they're learning how to drive stick shift, this is an amazing car to learn how to drive stick shift in, Mustangs in general. Now hear me out here, these cars, have a ton of torque now what does that mean you can be in the wrong gear screwing up where you're driving and the car will probably have enough torque to get you out of wherever you're at in that gear so like for example let's say you accidentally put the car in third instead of in first you can probably start the car in third um and the car might not like it too much but it is forgiving so stick shift mustangs are very forgiving so if you're looking to buy a stick shift mustang as a first car it's not a bad idea this was my first stick shift car and first stick shift mustang and i absolutely it was it was a breeze i mean yes i stalled a couple times but that wasn't the car's fault that was my my fault uh when i was first learning how to drive it but in regards to the car taking the abuse of learning how to drive stick shift it, it did it like a champ and i love driving stick shift now because of this car because it has been a blast like i've had no issues 
the clutch was um, able to survive my terrible driving as I was learning to drive stick shift. Um, so I would highly recommend a Mustang as a first stick shift car because of the torque. It is forgiving and you will learn how to drive much better than say like a Miata or you know a Civic or something that does not have as much torque. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what car did you learn how to drive stick shift in or if you haven't driven stick shift what is your plan to learning how to drive stick shift i legitimately learned how to drive stick shift when i was 28 years old um so i wasn't super young but i it was something on my bucket list i just i was like i love cars i need to learn how to drive stick shift that's when i bought this car and learned how to drive stick shift so um this 2001 ford mustang gt was the car i learned how to drive stick shift in let me know in the comments below what car you learned how to drive stick shift in. Now, one warning on driving a Mustang as your first car, this is a powerful car. You have to respect it. Now, if I was teaching a teenager how to drive and I was like, I need them to respect cars. I need them to know that if you're driving a car and you get into an accident, you can, you can die, you can get killed. So be sure to respect these cars. Now, what would I do? I would go to a big empty parking lot or a racetrack and teach this teenager how to drive um, and push the car to its limit. So that way, when they go out on the street and they're you know, doing something dumb, they'd be like, okay, I need to respect this car because I've seen what it can do. I, I've seen how easily um, I've been able to spin out. I've seen how easily I can lose traction. Um, so I would have that teenager that I'm teaching how to drive um, push the car to its limits. That way they can figure out and, and you know really see how easily these cars can lose control. That way they can respect it. Um, but again, it is all about respect and it is all about having fun, but you gotta know the car's limits and you gotta know that, I mean, this is a powerful piece of machinery that it can get in trouble. Um, if you uh, you know don't respect it so make sure to respect the car and the car will respect you so there you guys have it that is my opinion as having a Mustang as a first car let me know what you think in the comments below do you agree do you disagree are these good first cars are they not there is so many good reasons these cars are good first cars and I absolutely encourage it but let me know what you guys think in the comments below Thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you like the video, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe for, for, for more Ford Mustang content, more uh, F-150 content, more Mach-E content because that is coming up soon. Thanks for watching.